In this episode, we'll show you all of the different modes that you will get from charging the vehicle. Whether it's plugging in from an external charging point and what the lights mean, all the way through to what happens if you forget to disconnect before you drive off. So how do you charge your Transit Custom Plug-in Hybrid? Firstly, here's some key things you need to know. The charging port is a Type 2 standard charging port and you will get a domestic cable supplied with the vehicle. Firstly, open up the flap on the front bumper. This will be placed on the driver's side for the European models. Remove the small dust cap and then insert your charger into the Type 2 charging port. When you open the flap, what you will notice is the lights will glow. The reason for this is to acknowledge that you've opened the flap and particularly useful in dark or dusky conditions. Once you insert the charger, you will also then get a series of white lights to acknowledge that you've plugged the charger in correctly. Once those white lights disappear, you will see some blue lights appear when you are connected to the charger. Each of these lights represent how much charge is currently in your plug-in hybrid. For example, if only the bottom line is showing as blue, that means you've got 20% charge. Each of those lines indicate 20%. And when you are charging, you will notice that the blue light will flash and that will determine whether you are going between 20 and 40%, 40 and 60%, 60 and 80% or 80 to fully charged. You will also notice a release button just by the right hand side of the connector. This will make a mechanical sound as the motor unlocks the connector so you can disconnect the charging port safely. The other things to note are when you lock the vehicle, the charging connector will also be locked in position so there's no risk of somebody trying to unplug your vehicle when you're away from the vehicle. During the trials a lot of our fleets operated at 95% pure EV, hardly using any of the fuel in the tank. Our engineers over at Ford were very much aware of this situation and that is why the fuel tank is actually pressurised and you need the remote release inside the vehicle which will be shown as part of this video series. The reason the fuel tank is pressurised is to reduce the amount of evaporation that you would get from a standard fuel tank. As the fuel won't be used as much as a conventional vehicle, we wanted to ensure that the fuel didn't evaporate over a period of time. With both versions of the plug-in hybrid, the only way to get the battery to 100% charge is to plug it in via the mains, a wall box or a standard charging outlet. Please be aware that on the Transit Custom plug-in hybrid, it is not compatible with a rapid charger, so please be very mindful of the type of charging network you are linking up to. The final lights to be aware of are the red lights that come around the charging port. When these show, this indicates one of two things. It could be a fault with the vehicle itself, but more commonly it will be a fault with the charger, such as incorrect insertion into the charging port or a misalignment with the plug. If the red light comes on, simply remove the plug from the plug-in hybrid vehicle hit the reset on the main charging point. Finally, if you are in a hurry and you have forgotten to unplug your plug-in hybrid vehicle, there is no need to worry. There will be several visual and audible warnings to let you know that you are safely plugged in. And the Transit Custom plug-in hybrid also has a feature which means you won't be able to physically start the vehicle until you are disconnected from the charging point. Thank you for watching this video all about the new Transit Custom and Torneo Custom PHEV. Be sure to check out some of the other videos in the series and we'll see you all again really soon.